Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our thrilling tale. Today, we're diving into a world where the past and present collide in a library filled with secrets. Lila Thompson and her friends are about to embark on a journey that will test their courage and unity. So, buckle up and get ready for an adventure that will leave you on the edge of your seat. Let's unravel the mysteries that lie within these pages and discover the power of friendship and determination. Stay tuned, because this chapter is going to be one for the books. The library, with its towering shelves and the scent of aged paper, felt like a sanctuary to Lila Thompson and her friends. The afternoon sun filtered through the dusty windows, casting a warm glow that contrasted sharply with the chill of the spirits they had encountered. Lila stood at the center of the room, her curly chestnut hair catching the light, her bright green eyes reflecting a newfound determination. Today was different. Today, Lila felt the weight of her ancestors' stories pressing upon her shoulders, urging her to act. Ethan Rivera leaned against a nearby shelf, his dark hair falling into his deep brown eyes as he watched Lila. The oversized sweater he wore seemed to swallow him whole, but there was a spark of confidence in his demeanor that hadn't been there before. He had learned to embrace his empathic abilities, and now he felt a connection to the spirits that transcended fear. We can't let the council silence us, Lila. They need to understand what we've seen. Sophie Green, with her wavy blonde hair and mismatched clothing, was sketching furiously in her notebook, capturing the essence of the spirits they had encountered. Each stroke of her pencil was a testament to her growth. She was no longer just a quiet observer, but a voice that could articulate the unspoken. If we show them what we've experienced, maybe they'll listen. Maybe they'll see the truth. Jack, the skeptic, stood apart from the group, arms crossed, his brow furrowed. The tension between his doubts and the growing bond among the others was palpable. And what if they don't? What if they just see us as kids playing with things we don't understand? Lila stepped forward, her heart racing. Then we show them. We organize a town meeting. We share our stories, our experiences. We confront the past together. The air thickened with anticipation as the children exchanged glances, each feeling the weight of their collective decision. They were no longer just friends. They were allies in a battle against the shadows of their town's history. Lila felt a surge of leadership within her, a calling to guide her friends through the darkness. As they began to plan, the library transformed into a hive of activity. Ethan's empathy fueled their resolve, Sophie's art became their visual narrative, and Jack's skepticism, while still present, began to wane under the strength of their unity. They were forging new bonds, not just among themselves, but with the spirits that lingered in the corners of the library, waiting for their stories to be told. Outside, the town council met in hushed tones, their stern expressions betraying their fear of the past. They were the guardians of silence, unwilling to confront the ghosts that haunted their community. But inside the library, Lila and her friends were ready to challenge that silence, to bring forth the echoes of the past and weave them into a tapestry of understanding and healing. As the sun dipped lower in the sky, casting long shadows across the library floor, Lila felt a sense of purpose envelop her. The spirits were not just remnants of sorrow. They were a call to action, a plea for forgiveness and redemption. And together, Lila, Ethan, Sophie, and Jack would answer that call. They were ready to face the challenges ahead, armed with the strength of their friendship and the courage to confront the past. This chapter has been a journey of discovery and growth, and I hope you've enjoyed every moment of it. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more exciting adventures. Until next time, keep exploring the world of stories.